Hi everybody and welcome to tonight's bedtime story. I'm going to read Peace at Last by Jill Murphy, one of my favourites. The hour was late. Mr Bear was tired, Mrs Bear was tired and Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs Bear fell asleep, Mr Bear didn't. Mrs Bear began to snore, snore went Mrs Bear, snore, snore, snore. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was lying in bed pretending to be an airplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock, went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip, went the leaky kitchen tap. Mmm, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden at night. To woo, to woo, to woo, went the owl. Snuffle, snuffle, went the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeped in at the window. Tweet, tweet, went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr Bear, I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. Brrr, went the alarm clock. Brrr. Mrs Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Not very well, dear, yawned Mr Bear. Never mind, said Mrs Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. Poor Mr Bear. I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Night-night.